Hey guys, from beautiful Washington Estate once again. How you guys doing? Uploading this video with Nomad Internet. And not right here. Gotta, gotta go to town. There's, there's no towers out here. You can't just make Wi-Fi out of nothing. But it is working well for me when there are some Wi-Fi towers. Link in the video description if you need some mobile Wi-Fi. Just hanging out behind Thousand Trails. Doing a little walk here. But uh, found a little abandoned gazebo out here. Quiet with a really nice shot of nature out here. With the sun trying to peek through the filtered clouds there. Does the picture little look a little crisper, a little little cleaner than normal? Maybe? Yeah? Could be because uh, we're filming on a new, well, no, I, I used a uh, refurbished GoPro 8 that I got on Amazon for 250 bucks. Didn't come with an SD card or battery, but that didn't matter. I still got five extra batteries from where I lost my GoPro in the river. So back to the old trusty GoPro for a little bit here. There's some times where it's really nice because I don't got to worry about adjusting the exposure and getting the focus right. It's just a run and gun. It just, everything's in focus all the time and ready to go. So it works for me really well. Oh, we got some changes on the way. See if I can find the rest of this trail over here. Yeah, it changes in the way of, for the first time in 44 years, uh, my family reunion has been officially canceled for 2020. There will be no reunion, canceled. It's crazy. I mean, I kind of, I kind of feel like that was one of the major reasons why I came back to the Northwest this summer, to be with friends and family and the good beautiful summer weather here also uh maybe they'll maybe they'll start it back up next year i don't know i won't be here next year i postponed my northeast trip to next year because of covid so oh well and you may also have noticed or maybe not that i haven't been too critical or negative about thousand trails the last few videos well there's a trick to that as my patrons pointed out over on patreon um how about I just start a new channel? So for the first time in over six years, I created a new YouTube channel uh, where I could talk about all the crazy things going on at Thousand Trails. They're mostly the negative bad stuff, calling them out for all their nickel and diming members, but I wanted a whole channel dedicated to it where people who are thinking about becoming members but haven't yet, they can get the answers that most non-members can't get. So uh, my Thousand Trails channel is called Thousand Fails. <laughs> right? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> you may want to go check that out. I'll put a link in the video description below if you or maybe you don't want to subscribe to that channel It's just it's it's all lighthearted, you know anything you go post on Thousand Trails Instagram or, or Twitter or anything they just delete anything they don't like so I think some of these things need to be said From time to time and it's a good place for me to vent off of nomadic fanatic and kind of keep it lighthearted here on this channel most of the time So let's head on back to my new campsite. That's right. I forgot to tell you guys. I moved. I'll show you where I'm at this is my my new campsite. There's a little more sun here, but actually, since I'm gonna, I was gonna be here for a few days. I was doing my walk around the campground like I normally do, because I don't get any TV satellite where I was first at. And I was looking at all these empty spots. I pulled up this really handy app on my phone, Satellite Finder, and once it positions where you're at, see if it'll show up. You just go up to the sky, and then it shows the satellites. So you find where you can sneak in some dish outdoor. Satellite. <laughs> so I'm walking through all these empty campsites, you know, standing back basically where my dish would be and seeing will it fit through this tree right there. <laughs> and then I move for Dish Network. Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't watch a whole lot of live TV, but at night I do uh, record a bunch of my favorite shows like Married with Children and some of the FBI file channels and National Geographic, Pawn Stars, all that. I record those of the DVRs so that later on I can watch them on replay and fast forward to the commercials, you know? Uh, this site is pretty overgrown with uh, blackberry bushes, though. Like, it's been a while since they've clipped any of these. Uh, and we're not going to get blackberries till like, mid-August. But they'll be delicious when they're ready right now. It's just kind of a thorn in my side. Yeah. As for my campsite itself, I'm drying my shorts. Not because there's a pool open, but because I was using my fan mister to stay cool. And... And this guy, I got a new tube. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. It's definitely different, but it's gonna hopefully keep me from losing stuff next time I flip. It's got zippered pouches, two big coolers. It's even got some zippered stuff here on the armrest so I can put my waterproof case of phone and keys in here and then also zip it up so that in case we flip or tip, nothing's gonna leave my inner tube here. I don't know if this is gonna be comfortable or not though, but I thought it was worth a shot, right? Anyway, another summer project here. Let me uh, 
clear off my picnic table here, set up the supplies, and I'll, I'll show you what we're working on today, although you've probably already figured it out from the thumbnail. Yes, hi, Jax. Today, today is a screen day, guys. How do you know if it's time to replace all the screens on all your RV windows and your front door? Go inside and I'll show you the top here. So here's what's going on with my screen door here at the top, okay? You can see some of the spline has been removed, but there's no way to repair this because the screen itself has already been cut right at the spline line on the other side. So there's no way, even though sometimes I have just gotten a flathead screwdriver and tried to pinch it back up, there's nothing to grab onto anymore here. This screen completely needs to be replaced with, uh, well, maybe I can use some of this old spline, but I'm gonna be doing all of my screens today. Gonna be doing the uh, front windows and the side windows and everything, new screen. It's a super easy project. Nearly anybody can do it, guys. I'll show you what the supplies are here. I went to the orange store. I got the uh, screen tool set, which has the flathead on one side and the roller for putting the spline in. I got three bags of spline, uh, 0.125 inch, 25 feet of that, so 75 feet total. And then I picked out my fiberglass uh, screen here material, 25 feet of this. A uh, mistake I made last time I did this, the first time I did it on Yoda, my Class C RV, I got some special kind of screen that I thought was going to be a good idea. It's called insect repellent. And basically what it does is you have much smaller squares on here so that tiny river insects can't sneak in. The problem is, and I tested this theory, it cut off the airflow to the RV. So trying to get wind from one window to the other window and just keep the RV ventilated that, that first summer didn't work very well. Uh, so I, I would say stay away from all that special, special bug repellent, mosquito type, security type net. Just get basic charcoal screen. So what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the door project because I actually, uh, I don't know if I have to take the screen door off to do it or just pull up a ladder and do it. Well, we're gonna start with the front one and I'm just gonna show you basically how you, how you get it done. All right, so here we have the driver's side screen here. And the first thing you're gonna wanna take a look at is this piece of fuzz that runs along this seam. That's so that bugs can't get in through that grass thing when the window's actually open. So make sure that it's completely still attached you can buy more of this, I don't even know what you call it, but this, this fuzz bear, you can, you can buy more of this, or if it's come off, you can super glue it back on if you need to. It is important, otherwise the bugs can still get in to the screen. Now if you can get a hand, hold a hand of this spline, you can just pull this right out all the way around the edge, and that'll release it. Try not to bend the aluminum housing itself. I don't really see the need in putting this back in. It gets really dry and really brittle. You're probably better off to replace this when you do your screens. Then you can just pull out the rest of the screen material here. And just go ahead and inspect it. Make sure you didn't leave anything in there, any other pieces of fiberglass or anything else that'll get in the way. You want that spline to be able to push all the way in there. This looks good. This looks ready. All right, I've rolled out some screen material. You just want to have at least one inch on each side because once you start putting the spline in, it's going to shrink it up a little bit. So at least one, one inch all around to be able to do this correctly. We're going to start in this corner right here with the spline and just start pushing it in. Try to keep these squares level. It will look weird if you put this in crooked. I don't know, it just, it really, really shows up. So try to keep this as straight and perpendicular to the, to the frame as far as the little squares. Then I'll kind of push it in there to get it started. Be really careful when you initially first push this in though because if you get too far over, you can actually cut the fiberglass and you have to start this whole process over. So once I get it started, we can start the uh, rolling side here and just push that spline right down into it. But again, watch out for the sides. Look at this, we actually got some sunshine here. Little sunshine breaks. I'm on the opposite side that I already finished over here. 
you can see there's a little bit of slack, but you don't want to make it too tight because as you're pushing this in, it actually is just going to tighten this right back up. So you really don't have to pull it tight. You just have to get it kind of tight. And see, by the time I push this in a couple of times, you can see it tightened it right up. It's uh, kind of a tedious work, but you know, you got to do this every once in a while. Just got to take care of everything. And if I start to see that the angle starts to not be straight, I can adjust it a little bit as I go, but I'm getting used to knowing how much it pulls once I push down the spline into the track. So, you know, that's an art. It's not going to be perfect, but, you know, you can still do it yourself and save some money, right? All right, then eventually you're going to have something that looks kind of like this. I'm happy with it. Is it perfect? Heck no. We're not quite done though. Obviously we got to trim these sides, so I don't know the correct way to do it, but here's how I do it. I take a razor knife and I'm going to hit this side wall right here as I come down so that if you touch it, your, your fingers won't hit any excess. Some people cut down into the actual spline that you just placed, but I think that's dangerously close to where the spline is. So again, I just start kind of right here and I just run my knife right there not touching the rubber spline at all. See? I think that I think that has that nice clean finish. Just like that. Beautiful. Perfect. There we go. Nice new screen. Okay, that was easy enough. How are we gonna handle this door issue? I think most people would probably take the screen door off, but actually it wouldn't be that hard. It's just a, a square bit there. However, my alarm is tapped into the screen door, so I would have to unwire my alarm. Okay, and that's just, I don't want to rewire up the alarm, so I am going to do this from the outside. Okay, <laughs> I'm actually gonna pull that picnic table over and put it right here so that I can stand up and, and do this from right here. Cause that, that needs some work up there, guys. All right, tedious work, but uh, we got her done. I think it looks really good. I finished the top, haven't done the bottom yet. And I still gotta cut all the excess off, but I mean, it's really tight. It looks so much better. I mean, it just looks brand new compared to this one down here. Yeah, see? And even though there's nothing really wrong with this one, <laughs> it's not going to look good next to a brand new one. You know what I mean? So I'll cut this up, finish that. And then I still got, what, one more window there. And I got to do the bedroom window also. My supervisor doesn't give me any breaks. Just working me hard, Jax. <laughs> I really like how it turned out. Is it perfect? Heck no. It's not perfect at all. A lot better than it was. And now I know I'm good. Right? This one's not even really straight. <laughs> I don't care, man. I kind of like that it's a little, little imperfect. I still got a couple more windows to do, but I'm not going to show you all that because it's pretty much the same process. Uh, at this point, what we do is you make some popcorn and sit down, scroll through the comment section and enjoy the freak show. Everybody telling me what I did wrong and how I was supposed to do it their way and blah, blah, blah. Don't do what I do, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Yeah, whatever. It works, it's functional, I really don't care. Should I get back to work, Jax? Should, should I get back to work? Okay, you just keep letting me know if I do anything wrong. All right, now I just gotta pick everything up start loading back up as I mentioned tonight's my last night here it's gonna get warm the next couple days warm for this area so I'm gonna go find a body of water so today tonight uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pack up I, I won't get a chance to test out the star labs on my GoPro a because it's just been overcast and cloudy and it's gonna do that at night too we need, a, we need a clear sky with no clouds in order to get the star movement so unfortunately I won't get that here but Jax man is so happy just to be outside <laughs> hey putz how you doing okay man 
Let's see, a couple other things. I don't know if I officially really mentioned it, but if you're paying attention here on the Nomadic Fanatic channel, you will have seen three videos every other day here, instead of one video every three days or even more spread apart. Uh, we are going back to every other day uploads here on the Nomadic Fanatic channel. Um, kind of a trial run though here, guys. I I'm asking you, I I'm telling you, it usually doesn't work well for me. So please don't skip my videos, especially the ones I put a little extra effort in. They won't all be this crummy, you know, but like I said, don't, don't skip them just because I'm putting them out more frequently. Uh, and I'm not going to lower the quality of them. It's just, I'm not going to put so much effort. Like the Wainucci one, it took three days to make one video. Views on that are way down. I don't know why. <laughs> it kind of unmotivates me. But anyway, we, we are back on a trial basis here for the summer to every other day. Just remember, I, I warned you and I said this was a trial just to see how it goes. Okay. So guys, uh, be well. Jackson, I'll see you in two more days. Hopefully from somewhere cooler. River.